welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're gonna to be doing my Galaxy-a-thon announcement for 2023. It is finally time to start talking about readathons. Galaxy-a-thon is going to be the first one of the year. In case you're new here, my readathons are very different than other readathons. They're kind of more like reading parties. I use them as excuses to also do activities themed to whatever the readathon is themed for. We do a lot on Instagram I'll talk about in a second. They're just such a fun time. So without further ado, we're just gonna dive into all things Galaxy-a-thon. I've come a little more prepared with some space clothes and alien-esque items for this year. We're already starting off on a good foot. So first up, in case you missed my readathon announcement, which announces all of the readathons that I'm hosting for the year, I will link that up in the cards and down below in the description. Galaxy-a-thon is my space-themed readathon. I would say sci-fi, but it's mostly themed around space books, alien books, all that kind of jazz. This is one of my favorite genres to read from, but I have lots of tips and tricks if you're kind of like leery of space and sci-fi reads. And I hope to have a video on like space books for beginners. It's not as intimidating as it seems, but this readathon is going to be running from Monday, March 6th through Sunday, March 19th. So a two week readathon. Two weeks seems to be the sweet spot of like getting enough time to read some good books, but also not like getting too distracted with other things and veering off of our TBRs. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about the challenges. A couple are from last year, a couple are new. So challenge number one is going to be books set on another planet. This one we did last year. You'd be surprised because a lot of books that are themed around space are actually set on Earth. So for this one we just pick something that's set somewhere else. Challenge number two is to read a book with stars on the cover. Last year we did sky on the cover so I thought I would kind of mix it up. Challenge number three is to read a space romance. This does not have to be like a steamy romance. I just mean that there's like a love interest of some sort in the book. I think I'm gonna have a video with recommendations for this coming out here pretty soon so stay tuned for that. Challenge number four is to read a book with aliens. This is one we did last year as well. There are just tons of different types of alien reads. I'll either try to have a video for this or an Instagram reel or something to give you some ideas. Challenge number five is a space retelling. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. Again, I'm going to try to put out a video with this, but there's actually more retellings in space than you would realize, and they're just so fun to read. This doesn't have to be a fairy tale retelling. It could be like Titanic set in space. I know there's a couple books like that. Kind of a loose category. You can mix and match the challenges. So if you have a book with stars on the cover that has an alien and a romance, and it's a retelling that would all count for the challenges. You don't have to read a book individually for each one. You can totally customize this to however you want to do it. So those are the reading challenges. I also do photo challenges, which we do on Instagram. So be sure you're following me at The Bright Side Girl, as the majority of the hosting will be on Instagram. I will be vlogging and posting on here, but it's really just so much fun to follow on Instagram. So what we do is we have photo challenges. I'll put up the pictures right here. You can screenshot them or they will be in a graphic folder that I'll have a link for down below where you can download them if you want to kind of keep them on hand. These are daily photo challenges. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. This is just a nerdy extra thing for fun, but they will count towards the Galaxy-a-thon giveaway. So every time you complete a photo challenge, I will enter you into the giveaway. I have a ton of space books and some fun spacey items. I think I'm going to be doing at least two giveaways, if not four, because I have a lot of stuff for it. This is going to be US only, unfortunately, just because shipping and everything is kind of out of control. I will post most of the details about the giveaway on Instagram during the readathon, so make sure you're following me there. But basically you get an entry every time you complete one of these photo challenges. The only rules I have is that they must be your photo. So I don't really count if you just take like a screenshot of Goodreads or Overdrive and then post that to Instagram. It needs to be like an actual photo, count towards the giveaway. And then it needs to be on your actual feed. Totally fine if you wanna tag me and share in stories. I love that, we'll talk about that in a second. But to enter the giveaway, it does need to be on your actual feed sometime within those two weeks of the readathon. Make sure you use the hashtag Galaxyathon and make sure you follow the hashtag as well. You can click on this hashtag and hit follow and it will just put all of the people posting in your feed. Or you can just go check the hashtag every day and this is a good way to make some new bookish friends and see what everybody else is reading and posting about. And it's so fun to see how like creative and fun everybody gets. Your photos don't have to be the most beautiful, perfect thing on the planet. They can be casual and chill. Just anything that you do is great and totally customize this readathon to however you want to. You don't have to do the photo challenges or the reading challenges. You can just read at home, send me a message, comment on a video, have a great time. That's totally fine. For Instagram, I also have graphics. We do this for every readathon now. So we'll have things like currently listening, currently reading, 
Galaxy-a-thon reads and things like this. Again, I will put a link down below where you can download all these graphics. I format them for the stories because I personally don't like to post graphics on my Instagram. I like it to be actual photos. So the size of these is to use in your stories. Feel free to use them. Feel free to tag me if you want to. These won't count for the giveaway. They're just for fun and like aesthetic purposes. I always like creating these every year and kind of changing it up. So all of that will be down below in the graphics folder. This year I am also creating playlists for every readathon. So I will link down below the Spotify playlist for Galaxyathon. So fun. This is not for reading. This is not like an ambiance playlist. This is actual like songs that have something to do with aliens or space or galaxies. You can just kind of listen to throughout the week as I kind of treat this like a reading party. I will be doing some like space themed activities and making some like spacey themed food and wearing some clothes. I love to go all in. It's kind of like Christmas but space themed. So I'll be posting a lot about that on Instagram as well as in my vlog. This is one of the readathons that I have the most fun with because we don't have as much going on as I do like at Christmas and Halloween time. And then lastly, my last tip that I always share is to make sure that you are putting in holds and requests from your library, either physically or through Libby to get your audiobooks and your eBooks and your physical books in. A lot of times it takes a while to get your holds in. So what I do is like a month before I go and put in a lot of holds for different things, even if I don't think I'm going to get to them all, just so I can kind of have them on hand during the readathon. I will also use up my last borrows from Hoopla at the very end of the month. I kind of save a few because they last for 21 days. So I request them like at the very last day and then I'll be able to use them for the readathon as well. But I usually save my Hoopla borrows for things that I cannot get through Libby or Scribd or somewhere else because they usually have quite a few options. I'll be sharing a bunch of different recommendation things. I will link the Galaxyathon video playlist down below. It will have my past TBRs, book hauls, vlogs, all those things to give you lots of ideas for books to read. And I try to have one Galaxy Space themed video come out every week. You should have at least three more videos that are themed this way to kind of give you some inspiration on things to read and stuff like that. But there are videos from last year and the year before that you can check out if you want to dive in right now. My Galaxyathon TBR I usually put out like a week before the readathon. I think that's everything that I have to share so far. I've got some fun videos coming your way, some fun things happening on Instagram. Let me know if this sounds fun to you, if you plan on participating in any capacity, even if you're just reading at home totally fine. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos, especially the fun spacey ones. And I think that is all for now, so I will see you guys next time on The Bright Side. Mm -hmm.